Hello everyone. Today I'm going to open and build this retired Lego Marvel Eternal set, the Defiant Ambush. I actually bought this when it first released, so I can't wait to open this because I'm a fan of the MCU. So without further ado, let's open up and start building.
and I have finished building this Defiant Ambush set. So before we take a look at the mini figures, let's take a closer look at this Defiant Beast first. Spoiler to the Eternals movie, so the Defiant is not the primary villain uh, from the movie. This is just, uh, you know, they are villain play a part in the plot, but they're not necessarily the key villain in the movie. Anyway, it's a fairly interesting build. Um, it uh, doesn't have much of the body, as you can see. Very, very thin legs. I do like the arms, though, and also uh, the head, and I also like... Uh, these um, pieces which have a really really nice uh, glittering effect and I think the color scheme you know recreate the actual uh, color of the uh, Divine Beast uh, from the movie quite well and the eyepiece here is surprisingly printed while it's a cool looking feature and you present what you see in the movie quite well uh, the build is quite repetitive because uh, it has uh, three pairs of legs and you know two pairs are exactly the same given the movie wasn't that popular no wonder these sets aren't selling well just like many other sets that i bought i really bought this set for the uh, mini figure so you do have thinner mercury and gilgamesh and this is the only set that you get gilgamesh in the set First, we take a look at Cena, which is uh, played by Angelina Jolie. So this is, I think, the first time you get an Angelina Jolie mini figure. It has very, very detailed uh, print on both the torso and the legs. It's very rare you get leg printings uh, for Marvel mini figures, and this is an excellent mini figure. I love her accessory uh, with a really nice transparent orange color. And then this is her secondary facial expression. Next we have Makari. Her superpower is uh, super speed. Of course, you can't do super speed with many figures. Anyway, she also has a very detailed printing on her torso and also the legs. She has uh, this shooter as her uh, accessory. Whether you need it or not, it's up to you. A very nice hair, uh, back printing, and of course her secondary face. And finally, Gilgamesh, I think this is uh, the best mini figures in this set. Uh, very nice uh, facial expression, printing, again, on the torso and the legs. But what I like about this mini figure is his uh, accessory. So basically, it's a glove, but all has this uh, flame effect, which is molded to the uh, glove. That is uh, pretty cool. And of course, it also has the uh, secondary facial expression. And this is... The only set you can get this mini figure and this mini figure is excellent and this is the marvel eternals defined ambush set uh, there's no doubt this set is really uh, for the mini figures the mini figures excellent and exclusively you get the match which is pretty cool um you know the defined itself is a pretty cool creatures a lovely color scheme but you know i can't deny you know the build is a little bit weak um especially uh, the lower body is so thin and also the legs as well as an mcu fan i really had to buy this set because of the mini figures given um the movie wasn't that popular and you know marvel studio boss kevin feige recently mentioned that we'll be lucky to see the Eternals again. So this may be your only chance uh, to get some of the um, MCU Eternals in mini figure form. Will I recommend this set to you? Well, probably not unless you are an MCU fan like me that you even accept that Eternal is something that you enjoy watching. Do let me know what you think about this set in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like.